My name is Mohammed. I run Water Creative. We're a creative growth agency located in Adelaide, South Australia. I've been involved in strategy and design, uh, especially in branding for the last 15 years. And Iqra College was a school that I branded from day one. And these spaces that we've designed uh, over these last few months uh, have been part of this amazing project. They're a very modern, contemporary Islamic school and they take a very modern contemporary approach to Islamic education. So when we were designing their brand, obviously we took the same approach. It was a very uh, untraditional approach and uh, it's quite obvious throughout all the touch points. Recently I was blessed with designing three of their new spaces, their library, their stream lab and their science lab. These projects were really, really fun and exciting to work on. The stream lab is very iconic and it's probably one of the you know, first icons uh, of the school. Uh, and that's obvious from its um, uh, big Lego brick wall, considering that the Stream Lab or STEM Lab is all about technology and, and innovation. We built that wall to resemble uh, Lego bricks, considering that the school is all about building the future. So Lego, obviously, they build so many, so many things with Legos. And obviously, as the students enter, the first thing that they see is, let's build the future. So it really sets a mindset of the student as they walk into the class that I am here now to think about how we can build the future. On the back wall, I put the design thinking model for innovation from the Stanford University Design School, which are the leaders of design thinking and creativity in the world. And the reason for that is, if we are able to create amazing innovations and inventions on a university level using that uh, design thinking model, imagine what would happen if we start teaching it to our primary school and high school students. We put a number of Muslim pioneers of the golden ages that had such a huge impact on the world, such as Ibn al-Haytham, the father of optics, who developed the what we call now the, the modern day camera. You have uh, al-Jazari, who's responsible for you know the engines in the automobiles or the cars. And you've also got Abbas bin Farnas, who was the first Muslim aviator. The idea behind these pioneers is to inspire our students to really be change makers and to think on a humanitarian scale or on a mankind scale or on a global scale what kind of impact that they can have. With the science lab we kept it very simple in the sense that science is an integral part of our faith and we get to know our creator through the creation. So which is why we chose the verse and we created from water every living thing. Would they still not believe? It ties in these scientific miracles with our faith and our Creator. We put the words of Thomas Edison on the wall that says, I did not fail, I just found 10,000 ways that it won't work. And that's to show the resilience uh, and failings of scientific discoveries until you discover what you set out to discover. Iqra Library was probably one of the most fun projects uh, that I worked on. It is an icon of the school uh, in the sense that a library is filled with books and books is what we read and Iqra means read. So we wanted uh, to make this the core place uh, for, their so for the students' source of knowledge and reference. Obviously we, we made it a very colourful, easy on the eye, especially with lots of uh, neutral colours as well and you know the, the wood and the nature and plants and so on. We have a little, uh, a little corner, a casual corner that has the hadith of the Prophet peace be upon him, especially in the place of knowledge, which is the library, that says the word of wisdom is the lost property of the believer. Wherever he finds it, he is the most deserving of it. And what we did, we decided to just push that lost property frame a little bit further, which allows students to understand that, um, you know, we need to look a little bit further outside of what we can see right in front of us, uh, you know, to gain that knowledge and to, to gain that wisdom as well. We also designed a storytelling space as well, or a presentation space, and uh, conveniently put the verse in the Quran that says, and relate to them the stories, perhaps they may reflect. Obviously stories make up a major part of the Quran and they're extremely effective. In fact, even modern day social media all use stories as well because they are so effective for people to remember the lesson within that story. As we all know, the library is always a quiet place. Um, and I think it was quite convenient that we put the hadith of the Prophet peace be upon him that says, speak what is good, otherwise remain silent. Uh, I felt this is a little bit uh, less intimidating than the librarian telling everyone be quiet all the time. Finally, some Muslim pioneers from their knowledge that benefited mankind in such huge, huge ways, uh, such as the Muslim who developed medicine, Abdullah bin Sina, and the Muslim who invented algorithms, Al-Khwarizmi. So basically, 
Without algorithms, we wouldn't have artificial intelligence, we wouldn't have a computer, we wouldn't have social media and so on. So it's, it's, these are there really to inspire these, um, these students. And what really inspires me is that this is just the beginning. I can't wait to really see Iqra grow even further and make an even bigger impact.